In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 24, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games, after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Texas Rangers vs. Cleveland Guardians The Texas Rangers and the Cleveland Guardians are set to continue their three-game series on Saturday evening. The Texas Rangers have had a disastrous season, falling well short of postseason contention. Their struggles are evident as they have managed to win only one series this month. On the other hand, the Cleveland Guardians find themselves in a heated battle with the Minnesota Twins for the top spot in their division, making this series crucial for their playoff aspirations. The Guardians have shown strength at home, winning three of their last four games in front of their fans. Rangers pitcher John Gray, who recently returned from the injured list, has been easing back into action, pitching just two innings out of the bullpen earlier this week. Historically, Gray has struggled against Cleveland with a career-earned run average of 4.15. Meanwhile, Guardians pitcher Ben Lively has been a force at home, boasting an impressive 3.42 earned run average and a 6-2 record. Lively has been particularly sharp lately, allowing two or fewer runs in four of his last six starts. The Texas Rangers have faced significant challenges this season after their World Series victory, and Saturday's game presents a favorable opportunity for the Cleveland Guardians. Lively's strong performance this season should help neutralize the Rangers lineup, while Gray, still recovering from injury, may struggle, especially with the Rangers' bullpen likely to falter against Cleveland's offense. Notably, Texas has struggled on the road this season with a 25-38 record, whereas Cleveland has excelled at home, going 38-20. Therefore, the Cleveland Guardians' money line is our full game side pick. Scoring runs has been a challenge for Texas, and Cleveland's offense has also been limited, playing small ball and not generating many runs recently. Lively's past success against the Rangers lineup should contribute to a lower scoring game, which bodes well for the under. This season, Texas has hit the under 67 times, with a record of 67 to 56 to 5. The Rangers have struggled offensively, scoring four or fewer runs in eight of their last 10 games. The Guardians pitching staff has been consistent throughout the season, having limited the Rangers to just eight runs in three games during their first series. Additionally, Cleveland's offense has been relatively quiet, averaging only 3.4 runs over their last 10 games. Despite Gray's solid outing against the Guardians earlier this season, where he pitched 6.1 scoreless innings, the under is still a strong play. The under has hit in five of the Rangers' last six games, and while Cleveland has barely edged over the total this season, this matchup suggests that runs will be scarce. Given the pitching duel and both teams' offensive struggles, under the projection total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia Phillies vs. Kansas City Royals The Kansas City Royals are set to continue their home series against the Philadelphia Phillies on Saturday. This matchup is shaping up to be an intriguing contest, especially given the recent performances of both teams. Throughout the season, the Royals have consistently demonstrated a keen eye at the plate, and August has been particularly fruitful for them as they boast their highest batting average of the year. In contrast, the Phillies have relied heavily on their home run capabilities to generate offense. However, the Royals' pitching staff has excelled at preventing home runs, ranking among the best in the league in that department. Kansas City's patience at the plate has been a key factor in their success, enabling them to drive in runs at a consistently high rate. This approach could prove advantageous as they face the Phillies. I believe this may not be an ideal scenario for Ranger Suarez to return to the mound for Philadelphia, especially after a month-long absence. The Royals have been hitting left-handed pitchers particularly well this season and they've shown their best form when playing at home. While Brady Singer, Kansas City starter, has had his ups and downs, this game presents a great opportunity for him to regain his confidence and help his team secure another victory. Despite the Philadelphia Phillies receiving respect from oddsmakers, their performance in the second half of the season has been underwhelming. My concerns about Suarez's return are compounded by his recent injury, making it uncertain how effective he will be after a month off. 
On the other hand, the Royals, who are playing at home and are backed by Brady Singer, have the potential to capitalize on this situation. Singer has quietly been one of the more underrated starters in the league this season. Given the odds and the circumstances, I'm inclined to back the Royals for the second consecutive game, making the Kansas City Royals money line our full game side pick. Kauffman Stadium stands out as one of the top-run scoring environments in Major League Baseball, trailing only Coors Field. It averages 11% fewer strikeouts than the typical MLB park, which the Royals have capitalized on throughout the season. They have posted impressive home stats with a .271 batting average, .333 on-base percentage, .444 slugging percentage, and a .776 OPS, while averaging 5.2 runs per game. These home road splits are well-established, and there's no reason to expect a significant change in this trend. While Suarez may have the upper hand over Singer on paper, it could be challenging for him to limit Kansas City's offense to fewer than four runs. Although Suarez is healthier now, his last five starts before the injury were shaky, as he allowed 22 runs on 37 hits across 28 innings against teams like Minnesota, Oakland, Atlanta, Miami, and Detroit. Additionally, the Phillies' bullpen has struggled in the second half of the season. I anticipate that Philadelphia will strike early against Singer, setting off a high-scoring affair between the two teams. The Phillies possess one of the most potent lineups in MLB, and they are overdue for a breakout performance after a slow start in the second half. I expect them to chase Singer from the game early, allowing them to exploit Kansas City's vulnerable bullpen, which ranks 25th in earned run average and 28th in WHIP. Both the Royals and Phillies have been hitting the ball well this season, with each team finding even greater success in night games. While Kansas City thrives at home, the Phillies have managed to accumulate more than half of their extra base hits on the road. The Royals' pitching staff has not focused heavily on generating strikeouts, and the Phillies' bullpen is likely to face constant pressure. Kansas Kansas City has not only been hitting at an impressive rate but also consistently driving in runs. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Tampa Bay Rays vs. Los Angeles Dodgers The Tampa Bay Rays and Los Angeles Dodgers are set to face off in the second game of their three-game series on Saturday night. Tampa Bay, with a 64-63 record and sitting in fourth place in the American League East, entered the series 10 and a half games behind in their division and trailing by seven games in the wild card race. This matchup is critical for the Rays as they try to gain ground in both their division and the wild card standings. The Los Angeles Dodgers have been on a roll recently, winning five of their last six games overall, and they've been particularly dominant at home with six straight victories. Additionally, the Dodgers have won five consecutive games against teams from the American League. Los Angeles ranks among the top 10 in four major hitting categories, including being fourth in runs scored, slugging percentage, and on base percentage. On the mound, the Dodgers have also excelled, boasting the third best batting average allowed and the sixth lowest earned run average in the league. In stark contrast, the Rays rank 28th in both runs scored and slugging percentage, and 27th in batting average, while holding a 12th place ranking in earned run average. Tampa Bay starting pitcher Taj Bradley has struggled significantly in his last four outings, giving up 26 hits and 18 earned runs across 20 innings, which has led to the Rays losing all four games. On the other hand, Dodgers starter Clayton Kershaw has been in excellent form, allowing just 12 hits and two runs in his last 16.1 innings, resulting in two wins for Los Angeles in his last three starts. Last season, the Rays managed to take two out of three games against the Dodgers at home, but the Dodgers hold a slight edge with a 3-2 record in their last five meetings. Tampa Bay has shown inconsistency in recent matchups, getting swept in three games by Houston before sweeping Arizona and then splitting a four-game series against Oakland. Bradley has particularly struggled on the road this season, hosting a 4.5 earned run average in eight starts away from home. Meanwhile, the Dodgers have maintained their momentum in the National League West, coming into this series on a four-game winning streak and having won 10 of their last 13 games and 13 of their last 18. Kershaw appears to be in peak form, and crucially, he's entering the postseason stretch as fresh as he's been in recent memory. This will be his third consecutive road start, and his previous two outings have resulted in an average winning margin of two runs per game. The Los Angeles Dodgers are making a strong push for the National League West title as they continue to rack up wins, and their roster is getting healthier. Clayton Kershaw has been returning to his dominant form, especially in August, where he has allowed only two runs over his last 16.1 innings. On the other hand, 
end, Taj Bradley has been struggling lately, and facing the Dodgers' potent lineup on the road doesn't seem like the ideal situation for him to turn things around. Given Tampa Bay's inconsistent lineup and how much they sold off at the trade deadline, it's hard to trust them against a team like the Dodgers. Los Angeles has a more complete lineup from top to bottom, and Kershaw, despite not pitching deep into games, has performed well in limited appearances. Ultimately, the Dodgers' talent should prevail, making the Los Angeles Dodgers' money line our full-game side pick. Offensively, Tampa Bay has been underwhelming this season, averaging just 4.07 runs per game on the road and only 3.85 runs per game overall. Over their last 10 games, the Rays have managed to score three runs or less in six of those contests. With Kershaw pitching at his best in his last three starts, it's unlikely that the Rays will find much success while he's on the mound. While Los Angeles certainly has the potential to put up big numbers, they haven't been as consistent as one might expect. They've scored four runs or fewer in five of the eight games leading up to this series. Considering that 123 games between these two teams have hit the under this season, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.